It is now 638 and with temperatures soaring in our area and also other parts of the country, the White House says President Biden is now considering declaring a national climate emergency. With more on that, Eyewitness News reporter Jen. A similar heat wave is also baking much of Europe. In England, the temps topped 104 degrees yesterday. House says the president is weighing the idea of declaring a climate emergency. I would not plan uh, a, uh, a uh, announcement this week on national climate emergency. Again, everything is on the table. Uh, it's just not going to be uh, this week on that decision. The Pentagon has noted, um, not just in this administration, but even the previous one, that climate change is a national security uh, issue. Your new report backed by the United Nations finds invasive species are spreading around the world at an unprecedented rate, driving extinctions, transmitting diseases, and threatening food supplies for millions of people. Ecologist Helen Roy, who co-authored the report by the Intergovernmental Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services, says more than 3,500 harmful invasive species are seriously threatening nature, while causing Causing untold economic damage to humans. Whatever those costs that are tangible that we've been able to gather together, we can see it's $423 billion annually. But we also know that looking back, then these figures have been quadrupling every 10 years. And we have no reason to think that that isn't going to be happening into the future. In Greece, where authorities have finally brought unprecedented wildfires under control, at least one person's dead, another missing after intense rainstorm battered mountain towns. Forecasters say some parts of central Greece could see over a foot of rain in just 24 hours. That's nearly double the annual average rainfall totals for the capital Athens. Here in the United States, a scorching summer heat wave brought record temperatures to central and eastern states Labor Day. Parts of Wisconsin in Minnesota suffered triple-digit heat Monday, the unofficial last day of summer. Mr. President, you call climate change a code red for humanity. The World Health Organization said it will cause an additional quarter of a million deaths a year starting in 2030. Are you prepared to declare a national emergency with respect to climate change? We've already done that. National emergency, we've conserved more land. We've moved in, we've rejoined the Paris Climate Accord. We passed a $368 billion climate control facility. We're, we're, we're moving. It's the, it is the existential threat to humanity. So you've already declared that national emergency? Well, in the practice, you got a bug on you. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. So you've already declared that national emergency? Practically speaking, yes. Yeah. And a dire warning from the president of COP28 that the world is losing the race to meet its climate goals. In the world, is struggling to keep 1.5 within reach. Collectively, we must admit that we are not delivering the results we need in the time we need them. Mr. Al Jabir delivering that warning three days before the UN publishes its first global stock take. That's an assessment of how nations are faring in their efforts to tackle climate change.